NBC Studios. Oh, you're here. Um, NBC Studios is the home of such great shows that are no longer on the air, like Cheers, Friends, Seinfeld. Those are some great shows. People watch them. Yes, they did. So the situation here at NBC is a little bit different. <laughs> help us, please! Help us! Sorry, ignore my begging. We're, out, we're offering a contest. Yes, an amazing contest. We're asking you, the common people. The unwashed, the people who sleep till noon, the ones who wear pajamas all day and have an 80% frozen pizza diet. Yes, you people. Come up with NBCs. The ones who shop late at night at Walmart, and the ones who eat Aqua Bell. Sammy. Sorry. Anyway, come up with NBC's newest show. Pitch us your ideas and we will make that show. Seriously, we are completely out of ideas. Completely. We're all out. The tank is empty. We're considering doing all singing competitions from now on. Singing. The dancing star. <laughs> American Idol meets the voice, meets thinking, dancing with the stars, meets so you think you can dance, meets Target It. Target It is my personal favorite. I just love that show. It's so well-rounded. <laughs> Shot down. No one wants to see Man vs. Donkey. It's a reality show about a man finds a donkey. Simple, elegant, awesome. Coolie. What? Man vs. Donkey isn't gonna happen. I'm really creatively neutered here. Get over it! Never! Alright, I'm over it. I've learned to swallow my feelings here at NBC. Helps keep me going. So. So. Help us, please, save NBC! This is all we know! Is that too desperate? Is, is this thing on? You are right in front of us. Anytime you're ready. Pitch away. It's called, here, get this, Veterinarians. Okay. No, 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 that's it. Here, look. Veterinarians. That's your idea? Yep. It's got veterinarians in it. It's pretty awesome. Just veterinarians. So are there animals in the show too, well, or? No, no, you see, it's about veterinarians. How many times do I have to say that? Veterinarians. I'm just trying to figure out your It's got veterinarians, all right, man. People who are veterinarians. Can we see a clip? What is wrong with you? Let's see if we filmed something. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. You see, I have anger issues. People who don't see how great of a person I am. I totally identify! I'm gonna rage all the time around here. I didn't know that. Really? Bottled off. Well, here's my clip. No! You're too beautiful to die! No! No! Live, dang it, live! Todd, give me 16 cc's of fundamental spider gel. Snap! Sure thing.
don't like you, but I sure as hell respect you. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call you. No. 
yourselves just really, really fine. Oh, oh. awesome. And now, on to round two. A round I like to call singing inside of a glass box filled with tarantulas. Who wants to go first? It seems a little derivative to me. Totally not original. Well, Paul. Stopping action. Thrill at the amazing police procedural that goes to places no other police procedural has gone before.
attention you've all been waiting for. Conflict with Sheila. You're gonna see more conflict with me in a second. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You guys don't want to be famous. Okay, well. Hold on. It gets so much better. I had cameras all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not sure NBC is comfortable violating the law like that. Depends on who's been watching or not. <laughs> it's because his mother was overprotective. That's why. Yeah. That's why he's. Never had a girlfriend. He's emotionally stunned. Uh, what if this part out too? Don't worry. I just I want him to get help, you know. He'll get the help he needs in prison. That's <laughs> probably the best place for him. Locked up. In a dungeon. Wait. <coughs> Do they still have dungeons? No, I don't think they still have dungeons anymore, honey. Why are we even paying taxes if there are no dungeons? <laughs> I don't know. But I'm sure it wasn't electro shock therapy or something. They can. Wait. Wait a minute. What is it? What is it? Is that? Joey! Just admit that you stole my lawnmower. I didn't steal your lawnmower! Admit it! No! Alright, fine. Can you just try to act like Honey Boo Boo? Just try it. Go away! It's easy. All you gotta do is be like, Honey Boo Boo eats all the zingers she wants. It's cause I wanna be sexy. Joey, get out! We'll call you. Seriously, I got like 525,600 hours of footage. <laughs> I think we'll have to pass on that. 
Dang it. Prepare yourselves for the most heartwarming show you've ever seen. Can you come here for a second? Mom, I just saw your report card. Whatever. Wait till your father gets home. My father, the panda. <laughs>
I'm going to go. Thanks for that, Chuck. <laughs> no problem, Gail. <laughs> and might I add, you're very attractive today. Let's keep our urges somewhere, okay, Chuck? No problem. Under the surface, like a fault line. That's where they belong, deep underground. That's where I shall put them then. <laughs> and now, let's turn to Jim Smiley for the weather. What could make news any more awesome, if you might ask? I won't just tell you. I'll show you. Well, it looks like another hot one tomorrow, folks. But the Mercury should!
my mom. <laughs> Колбасит соло, колбасер по пояс голый. Dogs don't wear clothes. They don't. 
except for some breeds, on Halloween and in the winter, but besides that, they don't wear boots. The Godfather has passion, has drama, has thrill. Playtime is over, kids. All right, time for And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for the rest of mommy. I'm not done. absolutely prohibited. There will be two 10-minute intermissions through the course of this performance. In the case of an emergency, please locate the nearest possible exit. We would like to thank our 2018-2019 main stage presenting sponsors, Frederick Motorsports and Grayson Indio Restaurant, located here in Urbana. We would now like you to sit back, laugh, and enjoy Noises Off. No, Mr. Brent's not here. He lives 
lives here, yeah, but I don't know where now because he lives in Spain. Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. Yeah, the one who writes the plates, that's him, only now he writes them in Spain. No, she's in Spain too, they're all in Spain, there's no one in. Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for them. But I go home at one o'clock on Wednesday, only I've got a nice plate of sardines to put my feet up with. Because it's to royal him, what's it called on the telly? To royal, you know, and where's your paper done? And if it's to do with letting the house, then you'll have to ring the house agents because they're the agents for the house. Squire, squire, I come in to, oh, don't know, the other one? No, do not in Spain, dear, the next set of phone in the statty. Squire, squire, I come in to, oh, don't know, go look. Always the same, isn't it? Soon as you take the weight off your feet, down it all comes on your head. <laughs> and I take the sardines. No, I leave the sardines. No, I take the sardines. You leave the sardines and you put the receiver back. Right, yes, okay, so I put the receiver back. And you leave the sardines. And I leave the sardines. You leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. Right. We've changed that, have we, love? No, love. That's what I've always been doing. I shouldn't say that, Dodgy, my precious. How about the words? Am I getting some of them right? Some of them have a very familiar ring. Only it's like a slot machine in there. I know that, Dodgy. I open my mouth and I never know if it's going to come out one lemon, a two oranges, and a banana. Anyway, it's <laughs> not midnight yet. And, and you don't, don't open till, till tomorrow. tomorrow. So, so there, there you are, holding the receiver. So there I am, holding the receiver. Squire, Squire, Hackman, hold on. The noise is off. Squire, Squire, Hackman, hold on. Don't go away. I'm putting it down. Always the same, isn't it? Put your feet up for two minutes and then they come running after you. Hold it. The housekeeper, yes, but this hold is Hold it, Dodgy! Hold it, Brooke. Dodgy! Come back! Yes! And, and go out, out again with the newspaper. The newspaper? Oh, right, okay, yes, the newspaper. You leave the sardines, you put the receiver back, and you go out with the newspaper. Here you are, love. Oh, sorry, love. Don't worry, love, it's only the technical. It's the dress, Gary Hun. It's the dress rehearsal. So, when was the technical? When's the dress? We open tomorrow. I mean, we're all of us thinking of it as the technical, aren't we, love? It's all those words, my sweetheart. Don't worry about the words, Dottie, my pet. Coming out like oranges and lemons. Listen, Dottie, your words are fine. Your words are better than the... Do you know what I mean? I mean, isn't that right? Sorry? Okay, Gary, so you and Brooke are off, and Dottie's holding the receiver. Okay, so he's the... All right, but Dottie, listen, you've been playing this sort of role for, well, do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Gary. So you and Brooke are off? No, but here we are. We're all thinking, my god, we open tomorrow. We don't know where we are, but my god, here we are. <laughs> That's right, my sweet. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Beautifully put, oh, Gary. Yes. And look, we've got to play Western Super Mail of this week, then Yorville, and then God knows where, and God knows where else. And we're all of us feeling pretty much, I mean, aren't you? Sorry? <laughs> okay, Gary. So you're off. Thanks, Lloyd. Okay, Gary. Lloyd, let me just say one more thing since we stopped. I've worked with a lot of directors, Lloyd, and well, some of them were geniuses and some of them were bastards, but I've never met one who was so totally, absolutely, I don't know. Thank you, Gary. I'm very touched. Now will you get off my bloody stage? And Brooke? Yes? Are you in? In? Are you there? What? You're out? Okay, I'll call later. So there you are, holding the receiver. So there I am, holding the receiver. I put the receiver back, I leave the sardines. Always the same, isn't and it? And you go out with the newspaper. <laughs> no. No, um... What are you there? So I leave the sardines. I take the newspaper. Always the same, isn't it? It's Leaving the receiver! <laughs> I have a housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off, so we've got the place entirely to ourselves. I'll just check. Hello? Is anyone at home? No, there's no one here. So what do you think? <laughs>
Great, and this is all yours? Oh yes, well, just a little shack in the woods, really, converted posset mill, 16th century. It must have cost a bar. Yes, well, one has to have someone to entertain one's business associates. Someone coming at four o'clock, in fact. Arab chic, oil, you know. Right, and I've got to get those files down to Bassingstoke by four. Yes, we'll only just manage to uh, fit it in. I mean, we'll only just do it. I mean, well. Right then. Uh, we won't bother to chill the champagne. All these doors? Oh, just a handful, really. A kitchen, study, and a self-contained service flat for the housekeeper. And which one's the... What? Oh, you know. Oh, the usual offices through here. Fantastic. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought there was no one here. Oh, not here. Oh, well, only it's a royal, you know, with about those hats and a all covered in fruit. Who are you? I'm from the agents. From the agents? Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. Which one are you then? Squire, Squire, Hackham or Dudley? I'm Tramplemane. Walking in here as if you owned a place. I thought you was a burglar! No, I just dropped in to go into a few things. Oh, well, to uh, check some of the measurements. To do one or two odd job. And a client, I'm showing a prospective tenant through the house. What's wrong with this door? She's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom, no, that's the downstairs bathroom in WC Suite. And this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Clack it, dear, clack it. Oh, she, hi. She's not really here. And it's the royal, you know, with the house. We'll just inspect the house. I'll have the sound on low. Don't worry about us. Only now I've lost the news. I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't have the television, do we? Sardines! I've forgotten the sardines. <laughs> Lloyd, these damn sardines, they're driving us all mad. Is there something wrong with the sardines, Gary? Poppy! There's four plates of sardines coming on in Act One alone. They go here, they go there. She takes them, I take them. I mean, we're all of us feeling too much. I mean, aren't you? Sorry? The sardines. What sardines? Yes, would you make Gary four plates of mashed banana? No, Lord, we don't want four plates of mashed banana. Okay, it's all right for you. You're out there, we're up here, we've got to do it. Plus, we've got words, we've got doors, we've got bags, we've got boxes. I mean, we're all of us feeling pretty much, I mean, do you know what I mean? We're not getting at you, puppy love. We think the sardines are lovely. So, yes. what do you want to change, Gary? The bags, the boxes, the doors? We can't just start changing things now, love. Look. All I'm saying is, words, doors, bags, boxes, sardines, <laughs> us. Okay? I've made my point. Yes. You certainly have, Gary. Got that, Poppy? Well, um... Right, on we go. And Poppy, love, yeah? don't let this happen again. Uh, no. Sorry, Lloyd, but sometimes you just got to... Do you know what I mean? Of course. Better out than, you know. <laughs> Much better. As long as Dottie's happy. Absolutely happy, Lloyd, my love. Will you do something for me then, Dottie, my precious? Anything, Lloyd, my sweet. Take the sardines off of you. I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Only she's been in the family for generations. Right, and I've got to get those files down to Mass Eastern by four. Well, perhaps we should just have a glass of champagne. We'll take it up with us. Yes, well. And don't let my files out of sight. No, only. What? Well. Her? She has been in the family for generations. Sardines, sardines. Oh, it's not for me to say, of course, dear. Only I would just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. You'll really enjoy it here. Oh, great. Won't she love? <laughs> yes, well, yes. And we'll enjoy having her. Won't we love? Yes, well, yes. Terrific. Sardines, sardines. You can't put your feet up on an empty stomach, can ya? <laughs> yeah. You see? She thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well? I think she's terrific. Terrific. So, which way? All right, before she comes back with the sardines. Up here? Yes, yes. In Yes, yes, yes. It's another bathroom. Oh, uh, no, uh, right there. Always oh, trying to get me into bathrooms. Yes, uh, just in here. Oh, black sheets. Oh, uh, it's the linen closet. Uh, this one, this one. Oh, you're in a real state. You can't even get the door open. No, it's Miss Clackett's afternoon off, remember? We've got the place entirely to ourselves. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> And God said, hold it, and they held it, and God saw that it was terrible. 
But sorry, loves, the store won't open. Oh, sorry, loves, the store won't close. And God said, Poppy! Oh, sorry, everyone, am I doing something wrong? Oh, no, You know Freddy. how stupid I am about doors. You're doing it perfectly. As long as it's not me who's broken it. Ah, and there the hell was Poppy. And God said, be fruitful and multiply. And fetched him to fix the doors. Oh, I love technicals. She loves technicals. I mean, honestly, what? Dottie, where's Dottie? Everyone's always so nice to one another. She really thinks that, well, Belinda's being old. Do you know what I mean? Oh, Freddy, don't you like an all-night technical? Uh, the only thing I like about technicals is you get a chance to sit on the fan. Oh, Freddy, it's so good to see you cheering up and making jokes. Was that a joke? This is such a lovely company to work with. Such a happy company. <laughs> Wait till we've got to stop to on teas in 12 weeks time. What's wrong, Lloyd, my love? Well, I'm starting to know what God felt like when he sat there in the darkness, creating the world. Oh, what did he feel like? Very pleased he'd taken his value. Right, well, he had six hours, of course, six days, of course, we only have six hours. And God said, where the hell is Tim? And then the hell was Tim? And God said, let there be doors that open when they open, Tim, and close when they close. Uh, do something? Doors. I was doing the front of house. Doors. Doors? Tim, are you fully awake? Tim, love, this door won't close. Yes, in the bedroom, won't you know what I mean? Oh, right, right. <laughs> he hasn't been to bed in 48 hours. Don't worry, Tim. Only another 24 hours, and it'll be the end of the day. Oh, look! He's come to Earth among us. <laughs> look, so since it took two days to get this set up, we shan't have time for a dress rehearsal. <laughs> Don't worry. Just think of the first night as the dress rehearsal. I mean, if we can just get through this play, once tonight, for doors and sidings. That, you know, that's what it's all about, doors and sidings. Getting on, getting off. Getting the sidings on, getting the sidings off. That's farce. That's theater. That's life. Oh, Lloyd, you're so deep. So just keep going. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, God. Bang your own, bang your down and bang your off, and everything will go perfect. Where's Selsdin? Selsdin! Puppy! Lloyd, I thought he was in front with you! I thought he was around the back with you! Is Mr. Mowbray in distressing Oh, I don't think he would. Not to the technical, would he? Would who? Selsdin, we can't find him. Oh, I don't think he would. Not to the technical. Half a chance he would. Would what? Oh, my sweets, be fair, we don't know. Let's not jump to any conclusions. Let's get the understudy dressed. Tim! Yes? You're going on as the burglar. Oh, right. Lloyd, I said he must never be out of sight. Oh, but he's been good as gold all through rehearsals. Well, yes, but that's because in the rehearsal room was, well, oh, oh, I don't know, but there we were. And you know what I mean? There was no yes. set. You could see everyone. Yes, and here it's all, well, back there, and, well, of course, up here. Up back <laughs> and the front. Yes, of and course. instantly we've lost. He's not pressed through. And you've tripped in the lavatory. Yes. And in the scenery dock, in the paint room, and the prop store. Yes, yes oh. you've worked with him before, of course. <laughs> all right, ring the police. The police. Tim, finish with those doors. Get the gear on. It, it's my fault, not my life. No, it's my fault, Lloyd. I can ask him. <laughs> Let's give him one last chance. I said one last chance. I mean, what can you do? We win, we, we wrap together and people. It's my fault, Dottie. I shouldn't have let you. I mean, this show for her, it's more than just. This, this is a life saver. Um, we know that, Gary Love. I'm not trying to make my fault. Of course you're not, Dottie. I just wanted to put a little something by. We know, love. Just enough to, well, buy a little house. I mean, well, do you know what I mean? That's not too much to ask. Oh, Brooke, don't cry. It's not your fault. Uh, no, I got something behind my lens. Yes, you couldn't expect Brooke to have anyone in sight. But he was standing right there in the stalls before we started. I saw him! Oh, well, who are we talking about now? Oh, don't worry. You know you can't see anything. <laughs> you mean Selston? I'm not blind. I can see Selston. Selston! Oh, my God! He's been here the whole time! He's standing there like Hamlet's father! My word, Selston! You gave us such a surprise! We thought you were... Hey! We thought you were... Oh, not there! Where have you been, Selston? Are you alright, Selston? Speak to us! Is it a party? Is it a party? Is it? How killing? I got my head down a small rehearsal. Help me out, love. Thank God. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. <sighs> Thought I'd snooze her back in the stalls to be ready for rehearsal. Isn't he lovely? Much lovelier. Now that we can see him. So, what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? I've looked all through the wardrobe and, and, and the dressing rooms and I can't find the gear. Oh. You said the beer's in the wardrobe? No, no. Tim, you need a break. Go down quietly upstairs and do the company's payroll. Payroll, right. And Tim, if he and the gear do walk off together one night, I need you to order yourself a spare burglar costume. Spare burglar costume? Two spare burglars. 
Uh, I want fit you and one fit Poppy. I want spare burglars on hand for any eventualities. Two spare burglars. Lloyd, he hasn't been to bed in two days. Don't fall down, Kim. We might not be in sure. <laughs> so, what's on the schedule for today? Well, Selston, I thought we might try a spot of rehearsal. Oh, I won't, thank you. You won't? No, you will all go on ahead. I'll be on the stores watching. You say the beer's in the wardrobe, isn't it? No, he wants us to rehearse. Yes, but I thought we ought to rehearse, haven't we? <laughs> ah, yes. Well done, Selston. I knew you would think of something. Right, on we go. Boy! What? The police! The police! Yes, they said they found an old man lying just in the oh, street on the haunt. They say he's very Thank dirty you. and rather smelly, and I thought, my Thank God! Because if you get anywhere close to Selston. Poppy! Anywhere! Oh, your Selston can't help but notice his very distinctive. I'll tell you something, Poppy. Once you've gotten your nostrils, you never forget it. Sixty years now, the smell of theatre still haunts me. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Poppy love, tell me, how did you get a job like this that requires tact and understanding? You're not somebody's girlfriend, are you? Oh, Poppy, don't worry, he truly didn't hear. Not here? Yes, yes, there. Sit down, my precious. Go back to sleep, love. We're not on for another 20 pages yet. Right, on we go. Dorothy in the kitchen, wildly roasting sardines. Freddie and Linda waiting impatiently outside the front door. And Gary and Brooke upstairs disappearing tremulously into the bedrooms. Time sliding irrevocably into the past. Aren't they sweet? What? Gary and Dottie. Gary and Dottie. Shh. Those two. They're an item? It's Shramble Main Mrs. Clack. Yeah, it's supposed to be a secret. But she's old enough to be. Shh. <laughs> Didn't you know? I'm just God, Belinda, love. I'm just done with the English degree. I don't know anything. What's happening? I shouldn't like to imagine, Gary. Well, I mean, what are we waiting for? I don't know what you're waiting for, Gary. Her 18th birthday. Or maybe just the queue. Brooke, oh, you're in a real state. Oh, you're in a real state. You can't even get the door open. Door closed. You can't even get the door open. No, it's Miss Clackett's afternoon off. Remember, we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Home. Home, sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to come back. It's rather odd, though, sneaking in like this on our wedding anniversary. The Inland Revenue finds out we're in the country even for one night. Bangos claim to resident abroad. Bangos must have last year's income. I feel like an illegal immigrant. I'll tell you what I feel like. Champagne. I wonder if Miss Clackett has aired the beds. Darling. Oh, why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely on our own. True. There's something we said about being a tax exile. Oh, leave those. <laughs> what? In the revenue may hear us. <laughs> <laughs> what I did with that first lot of sardines, I should never know. Miss Clackett! <laughs> Oh, it's like that, is it? The income taxes after you. Oh, they would be if they knew we were here. All right, ten love, you're not here. I haven't seen anything. Um, oh, off to bed, are you? Oh, oh well. Yeah, no, that's all right. No, we're lying there, but it'll get on top of you. You know, you want your things. Oh, uh, yes, thanks. Oh, and that bed hasn't been out, love. I'll get the hot water bottle. And I've put all your letters in the study, dear. That is what they support on my mail, don't you? Not, uh, uh, not one from the income tax, dear. Don't want to spoil your holiday. Oh, good heavens, where are all they? I'll put them all in the pigeon house. In that pigeon house? Yes, in the pigeon house, in your desk, love. I'll show you. Come on, watch it. Yes, it's all right. Your voices. Voices, what sorts of voices? Hold it! Freddy, what's the trouble? Lloyd, you know how stupid I am about my news. Sorry, Gary, sorry, Brooke, it's just my usual dimness. But why do I carry the things off in the study? Wouldn't it be more natural if I left them on? No. I thought it might be somehow more logical. No. <laughs> uh, listen, Lloyd, I know it's a bit late in the day to go into all this. No, no, no Freddie, we've seven more minutes, minutes left before we open. Thank you, Lloyd, as long as we're not too pushed. But I never quite understood why he carried an overnight bag and a box of groceries into the study to look at his mail. Because they have to be out of the way for my next scene. I see that. Where's Selston? Is he there? Selston? No bars, no burglar alarms, they are to be prosecuted for incitement. <laughs> no? No, not yet. Thank you, Selston. I thought I heard my name. No, no, no. Back to sleep. You're not on for another ten pages yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Not at all. Nice to see you. Poppy! Put the glass back once more. And Selston. Yes? Beautiful performance. Oh, thank you. 
I don't think it's quite there yet, though. Do you even remember the night? All right, I see all that. The love of God. I just don't understand why I take them. Freddy, honey, why does anyone do anything? Why does that other idiot walk out of the front door holding two plates of sardines? I'm not getting it, you love. Yes, well, of course not, love, but I mean, if you think about it, why do I? I mean, if you really think about it, why do I? Who knows? The worst things of human action are deep and cloudy. Now, Freddy, sweetheart, maybe something happened to you. As a very small child, which left you uh, frightened to let go of ghosts. Or it could be genetic. Yes, or it could be, you know. I think it's that. <laughs> it could well be. Uh, yes, I understand all that. Freddy, but... honey, I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't think the author knows. I don't know why this author came to this industry in the first place. I don't know why any of us came into it at all. But if you could just give me a reason that I could keep in my mind... All right, Freddy. I'll give you a reason. Okay. <laughs> you carry those groceries into the study. Freddy, honey. Because it's just slightly after midnight. Yes. And we're not going to be finished before we open tomorrow night. Correction. Before we open tonight! <laughs> so on we go from Freddy's exit with the groceries. Lloyd, sweetheart. What? His wife left him this morning. Freddy, sweetheart. Well, I think the point that I'm trying to make is, well, you've had a great fright when she mentions the income tax, and, well, you feel very insecure and exposed, and you're looking for something familiar to hold on to. <gasps> Thank you, Lloyd. That's the most helpful. Okay, Freddy. Easy. Easy. Oh, yeah. All right. Bless you, my sweet. And on we merrily go. Yes, but I hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? Well, people's voices. But there's no one here. Darling, I saw the door handle move. It could be someone from the office checking up. Well, I still don't see why you've got to put your tie on to go look. Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett. One has to set an example to the staff. Oh, look, she's opened up oh, no, 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 come back. What? You can't go downstairs like that. Well, why not? Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett. One has certain obligations. Sardines there, sardines there. It's not a Sunday school outing. Oh, you're still poking around, are you? Um, yes, still poking. Well, still around. Into a linen closet, were you? Um, yes, well, I was just checking the inventory, making sure the sheets were all, well, Miss Clackett. Clackett, dear, Clackett. Yes, Miss Clackett. Is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Clackett? I thought I heard voices. Voices! I no voices here, love. I must have imagined it. Yes. Oh, good Lord above! <coughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, good Lord above! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, the the study door is open! Oh, good Lord! Oh, Don, there's another car outside. That's not Mr. Hackham's, is it? Or Mr. Dudley's? Oh, there is nothing but flapping doors in this house. This steps will be taken. This straight proceedings in court. Oh, yes, and that reminds me a gentleman came about the house. Don't tell me I'm not here. He said he got a lady quite around. Yes, everything to Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. I'll let them go all over then, shall Let I? them do whatever just so long as you don't tell them we're here. Enough, so I'll just sit down and turn on the sardines. I've forgotten the sardines. I don't know if it was affixed to my shoulders. I forget what day it was. I didn't get this. I'm not here. I'm in Spain. Uh, but if I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling, I never had a dress like this, did I? Didn't you? No, I never buy anything as tarty as this. It's not something you gave me, was it? I should never have touched this. Mm, well, it's lovely. Sit it down, put it back. Never saw it. I'll put it in the attic with all the lovely things you gave me. All right, all right. Uh, now the study door's open again. What's going on? Knocking? Knocking? What the? Oh my God, there's something in the linen closet. Oh, it's, it's you. Of course it's me. You put me in here in the dark with all the black sheets and things. Yes, but darling, why did you lock the door? Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? I didn't lock the door. Someone locked the door. Well, we can't just stand here like this. But like what? In your nightgown. Okay, I'll take it off. Oh, no, in here, in here. Darling, this 
glue. Is it the sort you can never get unstuck? Hold it. Oh look, Miss Clack has made us some sardines. Hold it, we have a problem. Oh good heavens, which one is it this time? Left! It's the left one, everybody. It could be anywhere. Yes, it could have uh, fallen over the thing and then bounced somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Well, it must have been on. Why did I lock the door? She uh, was her eyes every sort of nose. Yes, yes, everyone look under their feet. <laughs> Nobody move their feet. Everyone put their feet back exactly where they were. Oh, everyone pick up their feet one by one. Brooke, is this going to happen during a performance? We don't want the audiences to miss their last buses and trains. Oh, oh, she'll just keep going, won't she, my love? But can she see anything without them? Can she hear anything without them? Sorry! Oh, oh sorry! Uh, uh, sorry! Oh, my poor doll! Then you're stuck on his foot! What's the matter with him? Oh, he's just got a little nosebleed, that's a nosebleed? all. Nosebleed? Nobody touched him. Yeah, he's got this thing about violence that always makes his nose bleed. Brooke, sweetheart. Oh, I thought you said something to me. Yes, just go hit the box office manager with this and then finish off live feet in London. Anyways, I found it. She's found it. Where was it, love? In my eye. In her eye. Not in your left eye, was it? Uh, well, it was going around the sides. I knew it hadn't gone far. Pop, are you okay? So, Freddy? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, oh dear. Oh. What, what happened to him this time? Um, he has this thing about... A thing about what? Well, I won't say the word. You mean blood? Oh, <laughs> right. Clear the stage. Walking wounded, carry the stretcher cases, and on we bloodily stagger. Oh! Sorry, Freddy. On we blindly stumble. Look, I withdraw that. Anyways, from your exit. Can't stand here like this. Like what? In your nightgown. Okay, I'll take. Where's Selsdick? Sales done. Drop down here somewhere. Good. Keep looking. Only another five pages before the big moment. Drop your exit anyway. I'll take it off. In here, in here. Darling, this glue, is it the sort you can never get unstuck? Oh, look, Miss Clack made us some sardines. Now what? A hot water bottle? I didn't put it there. Well, I didn't put it there. Someone in the bathroom filling hot water bottles. You don't think there's something creepy going on here? Darling, are you coming to bed or aren't you? What did you say? I didn't say anything. First the door handle, now this hot water bottle. I can feel goose pimples all over. Oh, yes, quick, let's uh, get something around you. Uh, quick, get the covers over our head. Oh, uh, yes, well... <laughs> what did I do with those sardines? You wait here. You hear all sorts of funny things about these old houses. Yes, of course, but this one has been extensively modernized throughout. I don't see how anything creepy would survive oil fire... What? What is it? What's happening? The sardines. They've gone. Perhaps there is something creepy going on. I'm going to get in bed and put my head under them. I put them there. Or, well, may maybe it was there. Bag! Well, of course, Mrs. Flodgett might have uh, taken them and put them somewhere. W what? What is it? Bag! Bag? Bag! What do you mean, bag? Bag, bag! What do you mean, bag, bag? Bag, bag! What bag? What bag? Bag, bag, bag! Bag, 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 bag! bag. bag. No bag! <laughs> no bag? Your bag! Set it in here, now go! Oh, well, it's in the bedroom. I put it in the bedroom. No, don't go in there! The box! The box! They've both gone! Oh, my fires! What on earth is happening? Where's Mrs. Sprocket? You wait in the bedroom. No, no, no! At least put your dress on. I'm not going in there! I'll fetch it for you, I'll fetch it for you. Yes, Chris, let's get out of here! <laughs> Your dress is gone! I'm never going to see Basil Stoke again! Don't panic! Just don't panic! There's some perfectly rational explanation for all of this. I'll just 
fetch Mrs. Blodgett and she'll tell us what's happening. You wait here. You can't wait here like this. No, you wait in the study. Study, study, study. But <laughs> Darling, if you're not coming to bed, I'm going to clear out the attic. Darling, I can't come to bed. I'm glued to a tax demand. Oh, darling, why don't you try putting the sardines down? <laughs> darling, I'm stuck to the sardines. Oh, darling, don't play a fool. Get the bottle marked poison in the downstairs loo. That eats through anything. I've heard of people getting stuck at the problem. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> Chelsea! <laughs> We're there, Chelsea. The moment has arrived. He's coming, he's coming, it's all right. But his answer should be coming through that window even before Freddy's off. Right, there it is. No bars, no burglar alarms. They'll be prosecuted for insight. Thank you, sir. So Take it again. Sit down and weep. Hold it, Chelsea. I used to do banks. When I'm a member, I used to do bullion bolts. Bullion bolts, you don't hold it. I'm breaking stop, the paper bag. Wait, my precious. Stop. 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 It's like the band playing on a Titanic sank. <laughs> Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, Puppet. Just had seen that movie. I think you can hear better than I can. I beg your pardon. Give me your entrance, please, Selsey. And when she said, I'll never let go. <laughs> Thank you. Puppet! Oh, not for me. Thank you. It stops me sleeping. Put the glass back once more. Come on again? Yes. Only Selsey. Yes? A little bit sooner, Selsey. A shade earlier. A touch closer to yesterday. And I want your arm coming through that window as... Well, Freddy, what's it like? Uh, I've heard of people getting stuck with the problem, but it's ridiculous. I want your arm coming through that window as soon as you hear the line. I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem. Stuck with a problem? <laughs> stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. And I want your arm going through that window, right? Yes, I might I make a suggestion, though? Shall I perhaps come on a little bit sooner? Selsey? You see, there's something behind hides between his exit and my entrance. Don't worry, Selston. I've got it. How about coming on a little bit sooner? I see the thing along the same lines. Am I putting him on, or is he putting me on? Right, ready from your exit. I've heard people getting stuck with a problem! <laughs> but this is ridiculous. No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for insulting. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks. When I remember, I used to do bullion bolts. What am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. So, what have we got here? One microwave oven. <laughs> what? 50 quid? Hardly worth lifting it. Junk, junk. Ooh, if you insist. Now, where's his desk? No, they all say the same thing, really. They all say the same thing. Yes? Line? It's hard just to retirement. What? It's hard to adjust to retirement. It's hard to what? Adjust to retirement. It's, hard to what? Adjust to to retirement. it's also hard to hear when you all talk at the same time. <laughs> and the respected tenant naturally wishes to know if there's any history of paranormal phenomena. Oh yes, dear, it's all nice and paranormal. I mean, has anything ever dematerialized before? <laughs> has anything ever flown about? I bet I've worn the prospective tenant she's inspecting the study. Oh my god, there's a man in there. No, 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 there's no one in the house, love. No, look, he's, he's searching for something. Oh, I can't see nothing. Oh, he's searching for something. Oh, he's searching for something. Oh, I can't see no one, dear. Well, you can't see him, but this is, this is remarkable. And where's my prospective? Oh my god. Now what? There. The sardines. Only really sardines. You can see the sardines? Yes, I can see the sardines. I'm not letting these sardines out of my hand, but where's my prospective tenant? I'm gonna be opening sardines all night, in and out of here like a cuckoo on a clock. Vicky! Vicky! No, but I miss the violence. I miss having other human beings around to terrify. Where's she gone? Vicky! No, you really miss all the shouting and screaming. All this silence gets you down. Vicky! Vicky! I'm gonna end up talking to myself. <laughs> Darling, this stuff that goes on and needs to do anything, it is through trousers. 
Darling, you don't think that goes on these two trousers and these two. <gasps> Darling, I think you better help me get these pants off. <laughs> There's something evil in this house. The Inland Revenue. He's back. I'm not here. <laughs> He's not there. I'm abroad. He's walking abroad. I must go. Stay. I won't, thank you. Speak. Only in the presence of my lawyer. <laughs> Only in the presence of your... Hold on, you're not from the other world. Yes, yes, Barcelona. <laughs> you're some kind of intruder. You've done something to Vicky. Uh, well, nice to meet you. I mean, how a sardine. No, you're not. You're some kind of sex maniac. Well, I see that you already have a place, Sardine, so if there's nothing else I can offer you. This is plainly a matter for the police. How do you be running along? No, come back. Hello, police. Someone has broken into my house. Or rather, someone has broken into someone's house. No, but he's a sex maniac. There was a young woman here, and what's happened to her, no one knows. There's a man! The young woman has reappeared. Are you all right? No, he almost saw me. He almost saw her. Yes, but he's a burglar as well. He's taken our things. Oh, but the things are here. The things have come back, so we're just missing a plate of sardines. Well, here are the sardines. And we've found the sardines. Is this the police? Oh, you want the police here? In my nightgown? So what am I saying? I'm saying let's say no more about it. I thought something terrible would happen to you. It has. I know him. You know him? He's been dealt with by our office. No, he's just some ordinary sex maniac. Yes, but you have to keep a certain standard when you work for the Inland Revenue. Well, then why don't you just put something on? Well, I haven't got anything. Well, there must be something in the bathroom. Oh, bring the sardines. <laughs> right, that's downstairs, Tony. Totally with it. I'll just give the upstairs a quick going over for them. A bath mat? Better than nothing. I can't go around in front of taxpayers wearing a bath mat. Well, then there must be something in the bedroom. I'm not going in there. Fine, you look in the bathroom. I'll just look in the bedroom. Darling, help! Where are you? <gasps> Roger, there's someone in the bathroom now! Where are you? Darling, I'm finding such lovely things. Do you remember this china tea service that you gave me for our wedding <laughs> anniversary? Who are you? Oh no, it's his wife and dependents! Excuse me, I think you dropped your dress. <gasps> Where have you been? Look at the state I'm in! <laughs> Darling! Honestly, she just burst into the room and her dress fell off! That's it. One pair of silver taps? Oh my god! Who are you? Who am I? Uh, fixing the taps. Tax, income tax. That's right, Governor, income, new tax, out go. Tax inspectors everywhere. The other one. I found your dress, it just came flying out of the attic. Cafe. Darling, I got her dress stuck to my head now. <laughs> Another intruder. She's doing the taps, Governor. A tax, not a tax on women. I'm trying to think, Governor, I'll go to the taps in the back first. Sex maniacs everywhere. <laughs> the gay. Oh my god, people everywhere. I'm off. A tax on women? I don't know, they put a tax on anything these days. If I can't find her, you're going to be in trouble, you see. WC? I'll fix it. <laughs> Where's she gone? The gay! <laughs> ah, darling! Oh, chic. Well, I wasn't expecting you till four. Well, it's almost four now, so, uh, um. Is this your charming wife? Well, since you're upstairs already... Him and his floozy, I'll break this over their head! Or perhaps we should start downstairs. Who are you? Who are these creatures? Don't worry about her. She has no connection with the house, I assure you. Whereas this good lady, on the other hand... No other hands, thank you. Not in my sardines, because this time I'm eating them. ...is fully occupied with her sardines. Miss Clackett, who are these people? Just Sheets, love. We'll get them all the time. So perhaps the bathroom facilities would be of more interest. In here... Arab sheets! In here we have... Ballcocks, Your ballcocks are gone. <laughs> we have hit. They're not Arab sheets, they're Irish linen stolen off my own bed! Oh, the thieving devil! In the study, however... You give me that sheet, you devil! <gasps> oh, it's you! It's her! It's my little girl! <gasps> Dad? It's a little Vicky who went over home. 
I never thought I'd see you again. What are you doing here like this? What are you doing here like that? Me, I'm tagging our taxes on evasion at the Inland Revenue and Basing Stoke. Oh. So where's my other sheet? Oh, House of Heavenly Peace. Oh, I rent it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I know that face. He's no chic. He's just that sex maniac. <gasps> yes, that's my husband. What? You take all the clean Ralph. sheets. What, what? You scandalize Ralph. that Ralph. What, what, what? You toss me aside like a broken china doll. And to cap it all off, you've got your trousers around your ankles. And what you're up to with my little girl down there in Bassingstoke? <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's a question of authenticity, you see, Freddy, honey. Do Arab aristocrats wear trousers under their robes? I don't know. Maybe they do. But not around their ankles, Freddy. Not around their ankles! Sorry, Lloyd, this is frightfully difficult getting changed with that addresser. Get him to help you. Tim! Where's Tim? Tim! Oh, sorry. Oh, yes, you're acting. Yes, I, 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 I must have fallen off down there. Never mind, Tim. Do something? No, let it pass. What a struggle through on our own. Tim has to sleep behind the sofa while the rest of us walk around with trousers around our ankles. Sorry, Freddy, you'll just feel have to be the best you can. On we go. Is there some other problem, Freddy? Well, since we're stopped anyway. Why did I ask? Uh, Lloyd, you know how stupid I am about our plot? Oh, I know. May I ask another silly question? All of my studies in the world of drama lie at your disposal. Why does the sheep just happen to be Philip's double? Oh, well, it's because, well, you see, he's the, well, do you know what I mean? I mean, that's the joke. I see that. The rest of the plot depends on it. I see that. But it is rather a coincidence, isn't it? It is rather a coincidence, Freddy. Until you reflect that there was an earlier draft of the play, now yet unfortunately lost to us. And in that, the author makes it perfectly clear that Philip's father, as a young man, travelled extensively in the Middle East. I see. I see. You see. That's very interesting. I thought you would like uh, that. But will the audience get it? You must tell them, Freddy, with looks yes. and gestures. <laughs> That's what acting is all about. <laughs> Thank you, Lloyd. That's most helpful. And it will be even more powerful when you do it with no trousers. Oh, right. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> right. On we go. From Belinda's beautiful line, you toss me aside like a broken china doll. You know, I'm really being so clever out here. What's going to be left this show? And I'm off in New York to a creature the third. You're left here on your own. <laughs> right, anyways, on we go. You tossed me aside like a broken china doll! And hey, what are you up to with my little girl down there in Bassett Stoke? I won't ask. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. <laughs> Brooke? Sorry? Your line. Come on, love. We're one line away from the end of the act. But, but I don't understand. You don't. Poppy, give the line. What's that, Dad? Well, yes, but I don't understand. Your line, it's, it's, what's that, Dad? Yes, I said to you, I'll tell you one thing, but can you say, what's that, Dad? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. <laughs> Poppy! <laughs> Bring the book! Is that the line? Poppy love, I don't understand why the sheep looks like Philip. Can well, we consult I... the office text to make absolutely sure? I think it's... <laughs> What's that, Dad? Right, that's a line book, love. We all know you've worked in some very classy places in London where they let you make the play up as you go along. But we don't want that kind of thing here, do we, love? <laughs> now, but the author has provided us with such a considered and polished line of his own. Not at one o'clock in the morning. Not two lines away from the end of Act One. Not when we're all about to drop dead of exhaustion for a coffee break. We merely want to hear the line. What's that, Dad? <laughs> Nothing else. I'm not being unreasonable, am I? <laughs> it doesn't say anything. It was my line. Oh I mean, that's all sort of my fault, wasn't it? A bit heavy with sauce, I thought. <laughs> yes, I thought it would be poppy when he finally went, you know. It's usually poppy, isn't it? Like? I thought it was rather sweet. Sweet. Yeah, and I'm pretending to not have a little thing. A <coughs> little thing, Lloyd and Brooke. Brooke and Lloyd? Well, oh, didn't you know? Where do you think they've been all weekend? You mean to tell me that they were gone all weekend poor old Tim? Put the set up back to front. Shh, they're coming. All right, always forgotten. I was irresistible. I'm gonna be sick! Oh, no. What now? You mean her too? Great Scott! Now that's something I didn't know. 
I think I'm going to faint. Oh, yes, sit down, love. Oh, do your meditation. Well, that's something she didn't know. Shh. Two weeks rehearsal, that's all we've had. Uh, what's happening next? Most exciting. Shh. Oh, yes. Shh. Uh, here he comes. Um, is she all right, Lloyd? Perfectly fine. Something she ate, probably. Yes, well, this one's feeling a bit, well, you know. I'm feeling a bit, you know, myself. Oh, which one? Faint. Or sick. Need that coffee, friend. You're certainly overdoing it at the moment, love. Can we just have the last, bloody last of the act? Oh, right, <laughs> last night, right here. I don't know what you're up to with my little girl down there in Stoke, but I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? <laughs> when all around a strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a... What? <laughs> there's nothing like a... a what? Like a good old-fashioned plate of... There's nothing like a good old-fashioned plate of... What? Sardines! Oh, curtain!
gentlemen, Act 1, places, please. Your calls, Ms. Otley, Ms. Ashton, Mr. Lejeune, Mr. Fellows, Ms. Blair. Act 1, places, please. Maybe Act 1, places, if what we'll get, what do you think? Oh, Nadia Bush is here right now. I mean, now she knows she has five fiancés, yeah. won't she? Will she? Oh, well, you know what Dottie's like. We've only been on the road for a month. We've only gotten to Ashton and the Lynn. What's it going to be like by the time we've got to Stockton on team? If only she'd speak. If only she'd say something. Look, if, if Dottie won't go on. Won't go on? If she won't. She will. Of course she will. She won't she? I'm sure she will. She will. But... She must. But if she didn't... I've got five minutes to change. Four minutes. Oh, if only she'd say something. I'll give it another go. Get your mind off your own problems anymore. Has she gone? Lloyd, I didn't know you were coming in today. I wasn't. I haven't. Well, thank God that you're here. I'm not. I'm in New York. I'm in the middle of rehearsing Richard III. Um, Dottie and Gary? I don't want anyone to know I'm in. Okay, well, Dottie and Gary, they are. Look, I just spent two hours alone in the stove with Brooke in her dressing room. Then I'm on the 725 back to New York. Give this to Brooke. Do not let Selzman get his hands on it. Oh, great. Well, they've had some kind of row. Good, good. Look, there's this little flower shop across the road from the stage door. I need you to go there and get me some very large and expensive looking flowers. Great. Well, she won't come out of the dressing room. Don't let Poppy see them. They are not for Poppy. Okay, and she won't speak to anyone. Good, good. Uh, first house starts just after 5.30. Yes, and second house finishes just after 7. Lloyd, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There may not be a show. Wait, she hasn't walked out already. No one knows what she's doing. She's locked herself in the dressing room and she won't speak to anyone. You've called places. Yes. I can't play a complete love scene from Colt's opening in five minutes. It's not dramatically possible. She's had bus stops with Gary before, of course. Wait, Brooke's had a bus stop with Gary. Brooke? Oh, oh, not Brooke. Uh, Dottie. Dottie. Oh, Dottie, yeah, right. There was the famous one the week before last when you were playing workshop. Right, you told me on the phone, Tim. She went out with this journalist blow. Journalist? Yes, yes. Well, you know, Gary threatened to kill him. Killed him? Yes, yes, yes. Tim, don't worry about Dottie. She's got money in the show. Right, well, it's happened again. Two o'clock this morning, I get a knocking on my door. It's Gary. Where's Dottie? She hasn't come home. Look, Tim, let me tell you something about my life. I've got the Duke of Buckingham on the phone with me an hour every evening after rehearsal, telling me that the Duke of Gloucester is sucking boiled sweets through his speeches. The Duke of Clarence is off the entire week doing a commercial from the area. Richard himself, would you believe? Richard III has now gone down with the back problem. I keep on getting messages from Brooke about how unhappy she is here. And now she's going to go to herself a doctor's certificate for nervous exhaustion. She's going to walk. I don't have time to find and rehearse another Vicky. I just have one afternoon. While Richard is fitted for a surgical course set and to go Brooke for nervous exhaustion. With no medical aid except for a little bit of whiskey, you've got the whiskey and a few flowers, you've got the money for the flowers. And well, a certain faded charm. So I haven't come to the theatre to hear about your problems, Tim. I've come to be taken out of myself. And preferably, not put back again. Yes, but Lloyd. Have you done the front of house calls, Tim? Oh, the front of house calls. And don't let Poppy see those flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. We're going to be up till eight. No, not. No, but Linda's having to go now, honey. Oh. Whiskey? Oh, is it? Where did you get this? Oh, well, um. Up here, you mean cells who's hiding them around stage now? Um. Yeah. I'll put it in the ladies' bathroom, at least I know we won't go in there. No? You know what Daddy's like. He's like, he's ready to have to go now. Oh no! He's hiding them around stage now. No? No. He didn't try for very long. No. Hey, dear. He's, he's hiding them on stage now. Gary came rushing out of his dressing room in a great state. I couldn't quite understand what he was saying. I often feel I must have missed something with him somewhere because I think he was saying that he wanted to kill me. Oh, Freddy, my precious! I thought I'd better leave him to it. I don't want to make him angry. He's all right, is he? Oh, who, Gary? Oh, anything but by the sound. I mean, of... he's going on, right? Gary? What do you mean Gary's not going on? What's all this talk about Gary not going on? Of course, Gary is going on. Well, yes, because if you if you go on for Gary, then Poppy can't go on for Dottie. Because if Poppy goes on for Dottie, then you have to be on book. Oh, this is getting farcical. Money. Money? You have money in your hand. Oh. Oh, well, that, that's for, um... Oh, oh. Dottie's a funny woman, you know. So up and down, she was perfectly all right last night. Last night? Yes, we went out for a drink at some club she knows about after the show. Wait, she was with you? You were with her? Yes, she's being very sympathetic to all my troubles. Oh, I won't let her sink her teeth into you. No, 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 she couldn't have been nice. In fact, we went to my days afterwards for a cup of tea and talked all about her troubles, stayed up until 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what the landlady thought. And another thing. Nothing else. My We're Selson. Oh, well, it turns out here that Freddy is Selson. He's not in the dressing rooms. Oh, I might have guessed. In front of house calls. You do the calls and I'll look for Selson. Oh, 
What shall I do? Absolutely nothing. Right. We've done quite enough already. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. He's going to kill someone. Selsing's going to kill someone? Gary, Gary's going to... Selsing? He's not in the dressing room. Oh, no, not again. Flowers? Oh, well... Oh, Tim, that's very sweet of you. Isn't it sweet of you? Uh, very charming. Here, you hold these. Okay. I'll open the pub with Selsing. I'll take them. Oh, the front of the house calls. Oh, dear, I think Poppy's done them. Well, once you give them two minutes, I'll, I'll give them a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in one minute. <laughs> oh, dear, I think she said three minutes. She said three minutes? I said three minutes. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in two minutes. Uh, any luck? Oxfam, I'll, I'll give it to Oxfam. He's not in the pub. No, he's hanging around woman. Oh. Um, I'll go ahead and get the gear on. Ladies and gentlemen, we please take your seats. The curtain will rise in two minutes. Tim's already done two minutes. Tim's done two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats. The curtain will rise in two minutes. What the hell is going on? Oh Great Scott! I'm not. I'm in New York. I'm in the middle of rehearsing Richard III. Boy, there are great dramas going on in the dressing room. We're having great dramas out there. This is a matinee, honey. There's old age pensioners out there. We all hear three minutes, we all go running to the gents. And then we hear one minute, and we all go rushing out again. Okay, boy, we don't I... know which way we're going. Boy, I've got to talk to you. We're going to have a talk, my love. Okay, well, did you get my messages? Messages. Many, many messages. Well, then why didn't you answer? I did. I have. I'm here. Okay, well, there's something I've got to tell you. All right, come out with it then. Well, I went to the doctor's today. Oh. Uh, later, yes, later. In my dressing room. In your dressing room? Lloyd, this is getting out of hand. I'll give it to Oxfam with the other one. I'll do it, thank you. Oh, Lloyd! Oh, sorry, you made it in one. <laughs> yes. You got my message. And came running, honey. And came running. Lloyd, we have got to have a talk. We're going to have a talk, my love. When? Later, yes, later. Flowers? Oh, yes, here. Yeah. Yep. Tim bought them for me. Tim bought them <laughs> for you. <laughs> to cheer me up. Lloyd? Nothing more, just for the moment. Thank you. Strangle Tim for me when you see him. Right. What about Selston? I don't want to hear about Selston. Oh, and Gary? I don't want to hear about Gary uh, either. What about Johnny? Look, this show is beyond the help of any director. You just do it. I'll sit out there in the dark with a bag of gummy bears and enjoy myself. One minute was the last call. If your memory goes back that far... Lloyd! Wait! Excuse me! I've got to talk to him. Uh, girls, girls! I have a good mind to put my coat on and walk out that door right here and now. Listen, if you don't feel up to performing, I'm sure Poppy would be happy to have a bash on your behalf. I beg your pardon? Honestly! Why don't you do your meditation and Poppy, why don't you go find Gary and Donnie? Freddy, my precious. Uh, did I say something wrong? Where's Tim? So uh, are you all right, Eric? Oh, dear. Oh, yes, everywhere. In front, bar, manager's office, not a sign of him. Oh, he's looking for you in the dressing room. Oh, yes, a rich Indian has been going on down there. I thought Tim ought to hear about it. Oh, I think he already knows. Oh, yes, everything. Oh, he really went for it. I know, you got your eye on someone. Uh, Dottie's got her eye on someone, has she? I've seen you creeping off in the corners of that poor half wit. What? Poor half wit. Oh, never mind. But not Tim. No, no, no. But, but aside from me, who else is there? I think they're coming. They're coming? They're coming. Oh, and you're here. Oh, yes, everywhere. Right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performance is about to begin. They're coming. And we found Selston. Oh, Selston, how did you get here? How? Through the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performance is about to begin. I've done it. You've done it? Yes, about to begin, about to begin. The performance will begin at any moment. <laughs> Oh no, the walls are very thin, you see. I'm absolutely sick to death of this, she cries. Am I setting a bit of a trend? Oh, oh, um. Oh. Understudy rehearsal. Ah, yes, for Gary. Very timely of him. I'm absolutely. I know you got your leg up for somebody. Oh, Gary! Uh, are you alright? Is he alright? Uh, What's he saying? Oh, he's not Ah, very sensible of him. Only stirred up, he says. I mean, I've seen you give him little nods and smiles. Donnie, my love! Uh, 
Are you all right? Is she all right? Little hugs and squeezes. Uh, curtain up. Uh, hold on, uh, Poppy. Listen, Dolly. L uh, listen, Gary. I'm not going to make a great speech. <laughs> but we've all got to go out there and give a performance. And, and well? Well, we can't do it in silence. We're going to have to speak to one another. Yes. What's the house not? Well done, yes! Yachty! <laughs> it's um, pretty good. Well done. Um, for a matinee, that is. There's quite a bit of crowd at the front of the back of the orchestra. <laughs> Come on, old girl, get those up. Uh, those OIPs out there haven't got long to go. Right, then quiet. Uh, hold on, Poppy, let me just say one more word. Now let me just say one more word. Sardines. 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 <laughs> Music cue one, tabs going up. What now? Lord, we were just about to go off. They've been sitting out there for an hour. They've gone quiet. They think someone's died. Oh, sorry, Lloyd, I was just saying a few words to everyone. Freddie, have you ever considered getting a brain transplant? Yeah. Wrong moment, I see that. Does anyone else have any thoughts they feel they must communicate? Oh, well. What? Well, not now. Uh, and you? You bought those flowers for Poppy. No. <laughs> well, yes. And you didn't buy any flowers for me. No. Well. No. Tim, have you heard of something called a jealous wrench? Yes. Well, yes. Then take ten pounds of your own money, Tim, and go and buy some flowers for me. Lloyd, we were just about to go up. I've got a show to run. Forget the show. Focus solely on the floral arrangements. Bought them for Puffy. You two can have Freddy's old brain. Puffy! <laughs> oh, dear. Don't cry, Puffy. No. Just get the old bus on the road. I just dropped in to go into a few things. 
We we'll have to do one or two odd jobs to check some of the measurements. Oh, and the client. I'm showing a prospective tenant through the house. What's wrong with this door? She's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom? No, that's the downstairs bathroom in WC Suite. And this lovely lady is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Clackett, dear, Clackett! Only now I've lost the newspaper. I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Only she's been in the family for generations. Perhaps we should just have a glass of champagne. We'll take it up with us. Yes. No, well. Enjoy the files on the side. No, only. What? Well. Huh? She's been in the family for generations. Mom! It's not for me to say, of course, dear. Only I would just say this. Don't think twice about it. Check the plunge. You'll really enjoy it. Oh, great. What you love? Yes. Well, yes. Sardines! Sardines! Can't put your feet up on an empty stomach, can you? Yes, well. I think she's terrific. Terrific. So, which way? All oh, right, before she comes back with the sardines. Up here. Yes, yes. In here. Yes, yes, yes. Is it on the bathroom? No, no, no. Always trying to get me in the bathroom. In here, in here. Ooh, black sheets. Oh, it's the linen closet. <laughs> Dang it, I missed. <laughs> This one, this one. Oh, you're on a real stage. Can't you even get the door open? No, it's Miss Clark this afternoon off. Remember, we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Oh. Home sweet home. Old house. Just waiting for us to come back. There's something we said about being a tax exile. Leave them. Shh. What? Inland revenue may hear us. <laughs> Open again, 
what's going on? <laughs> Knocking! 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 Yes, knocking! Knocking! Upstairs! Yes, upstairs! Knocking! Yes! Oh my god! There's something! There's something in the linen closet! Oh! Oh, it's you! I mean, is it you? I mean, you know, hiding under all these black sheets and things? I mean, I can't just stand here, you know. <laughs> Indefinitely! Oh, poor Sissy! You put me in here with all my sheets and things! But darling, why did you lock the door? Why did I lock the door? Why did you? <laughs> I didn't lock the door. Someone locked the door! Well, we can't just stand here like this. Like what? In your nightgown. In here, in here. Darling, this, this glue, is it the sort you can never get unstuck? <gasps> oh look, Miss Clegg made some sardines. A uh, hot water bottle? I didn't put it there. I mean, I didn't put this hot water bottle. Well, I'm standing here with this hot water look, bottle look, in my hands. Someone in the bathroom filling hot water bottles. Well, why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? Don't panic. Just don't panic. Don't panic. Don't it's like Don't panic. Don't panic. There's some perfectly rational explanation for all of this. I'll fetch Mrs. Blodgett and she'll tell us what's happening. You wait here. No, you can't stand here like that. You wait in the study. Study, study, study. Ah! Ah! There's ah! a strange figure in there. Where are you? Ah! Darling, I know this is going to sound silly, but... <laughs> ah! Darling, I can't come to bed. I'm glued to a tax demand. I've heard people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. But this is ridiculous! No bars for burglary alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for insolvent. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks. When I remember, I used to do bullion volts. What am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. So, what have we got here? One microwave oven. What? 50 quid? Hardly worth lifting. Junk, junk. Hmm, if you insist. Now, where's it dip? No, they all say the same thing. They all say the same thing. Yes? Line? How to what? It's hard to assess a requirement. Naturally wishes to know if there... Yes, dear, it's all that's a paranormal! Is any history of paranormal phenomena? Yes, sir! I mean, has anything ever dematerialized before? Has uh, anything ever flown about? Flown about? No! Things just move themselves on their own two feet! I'd Don't better... Don't like they're doing any else! I'd better warn the respected tenant she's inspecting the study. Oh my god, there's a man in there! No, 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 there's no one in the house! No, no, look, he's actually searching for... Well, can't see something! Him. You can't see him, but this is... Six oh my god! No, what? There! Where? The sardines! Oh, the sardines! You can see the sardines! Yes, I can see the sardines! I'm not letting these sardines slip out of my hand any time soon! Oh, I'm gonna be opening sardines all night in that here like a cookie on a clock. Vicky! Vicky! No, but I'm missing the violence. I'm just having other humans around to terrify. Where has she gone? Oh, Vicky! Vicky! 
No problem, it's the shouts and screaming. All the silence gets you down. VK! Oh, VK! I end up talking to myself. Darling, <laughs> this stuff. The cave's on, it needs to do anything. It needs to do trousers. Darling, you don't think that if it goes on, it needs to do trousers, it needs to do. Oh, ah. Listen, darling, I think you better help me get these pants off. I think I can feel it! It's eating through! I'm selling free every day! That's something on it! There's something evil in this house! The alien grabbing in! These are back! I'm not here! He's not there! I must go! Stay! I won't, thank you! Speak! Only in the presence of my lawyer! Only in the presence of your. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> this is plainly a matter for the police. Well, if it's nothing more I can offer you. No, please. I think sir, I'll just be running along. Sir, come back. Please, sir. Oh, nine, nine, one, four. Oh, hello. Oh, release. Someone has broken into my house, or rather, someone has uh, broken into someone's house. No, but he's a sex maniac. There was a young woman here, and well, what's happened to her, no one knows. What's happened to you when no one knows? No one knows. There's a man lurking in the undergrad! Oh, the young woman has reappeared. Are you alright? No, he almost saw me! He almost saw her. No, but he's a burglar as well. He's taken our things. Oh, but the things are here! The things have come back, so we're just missing a plate of sardines. Well, here are the sardines! And we found the sardines, so what am I saying? I'm saying let's say no more about it. I thought something terrible had happened to you. It has, I know him. You know him? He's been dealt with by our office. Like, well then bring the sardines. I said, bring the sardines. Right, that's downstairs, turning up a bit. I'll just give the upstairs a quick going over for them. A bath mat. It's better than nothing. I can't go around for the taxpayers wearing a bath mat. Well then put something on. Well, I haven't got anything. There must be something in the bedroom. I, no, 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 I'm not going in there. Fine. I'll look in the bedroom. You just look in the other bathroom. Darling, help! Where are you? Ah! Roger, where are you? The stairs are the bathroom now. Hey, Chief. Gay okay, people. Look at the state I'm in! <laughs> Darling! Honestly, she just burst into the room and her dress, they're off! Hey, uh, just out. Put, put this sheet on for the moment, but I think there's something in the attic. One pair of silver taps. Oh my god! Who are you? Who am I? Fixing the tax. Tax? Income tax? That's uh, right, so Governor. Income new tax, alcohol tax. Tax inspectors everywhere! Here you are! The other one! Found your dress. Came flying out of the attic at me. Darling, I've got her dress stuck to my head now. Another intruder! Just doing the tax, Governor. A tax? Not a tax on women. I'm trying to think, Governor, but I'll do the taps in the back first. Sex maniacs everywhere! My god, people everywhere. I'm off. I don't know, a tax on women. I don't know, they put a tax on anything these days. If I can't find her, you're going to be in trouble, you see. WC, I'll fix it. Where's she? Gone! Vicky! <laughs> Thought for sure he'd be here by four. Well, 
It's almost four now. Actually, it's almost six. Well, perhaps the sheik is just a little tied up at the moment. Oh, uh, sheik, I uh, wasn't expecting you till seven. Well, since you're upstairs already, or perhaps we should start downstairs. Don't worry about her. She has no connection with the house, I assure you. Whereas this good lady, on the other hand... Over the hands, thank you. Not to my sardines, because this time I'm eating them. ...is fully occupied with her sardines. So perhaps the bathroom facilities would be of more interest. In here... In here we have... Bullcocks, Governor. Your bullcocks are gone. We have him. In the study, however... Oh, you thieving devils! You give me that shit! Oh, dear. oh, it's you! It's her! It's my little girl! Dad? It's our little Dickie who ran away from home. I never thought I'd see you again. Where's my other sheep? Stop! Oh, the Hold on. Hold on, I know this face. He's, he's no sheep. He's just that sex maniac! <laughs> And what you're up to with my uh, down there in Bassett's don't grab my ass. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned... Oh, no, <laughs> there's nothing like a good old-fashioned plate of eggplant. <laughs>
gentlemen, and welcome to the old fish market theatre, lowest off, or rather the, the municipal theatre, Stockton on Tees, for this evening's performance of Nothing On. Um, oh. um, we um, <clears throat> we uh, apologise for the slight delay in starting our performance this evening, which is um, due to circumstances. Hands off, Freddy, you hear? You're the one who's trying to get the hands on, Freddy! Um, um, due to circumstances. You don't that, own him, you know! That are beyond our control. <gasps> and um, we appreciate it as you bear with us as we deal with her. Oh, with them. Oh, with the circumstances. <laughs> Our long and highly successful tour is on its very last legs. And we apologize for the slight delay in starting tonight, which is due to circumstances. Don't you dare, don't you dare! Which have now been brought under our control. Our long and highly successful tour is on its very last legs. Its very last leg. Thank you, Thank you for, for your cooperation and understanding. I sincerely trust, I sincerely trust that there will be no other hiccups, no other hold up. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the remainder of your evening. I have a housekeeping. 
be yes, but this is her afternoon off, so we've got the place entirely to ourselves. I'll just check. Um, hello? Is anyone at home? Hello? No, there's no one here. So what do you think? Great, and this is all yours? Oh yes, it's just a little uh, shack in the woods, really. A uh, converted posset mill, 16th century. It must have cost a bomb. Yes, of course. Oh. Well, one has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Right, and I've got to get those files under my sink stood by four. Uh, there's someone on the phone now by the looks of it. It must be that Aaron saying he wants to come by at a... Um, yes. Well, we'll only just manage to fit it in. Oh, I mean, we'll only just pick it up. Right then. Were you looking for something? All oh, these doors. Um, yes, only a handful, really. There's a kitchen, there's a study, and there's a self-contained service flat or the receiver. And which one's the... What? Oh, uh, you know. The usual offices through here. Fantastic! <laughs> ah! There's nobody here! Ah, yes. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought there was no one here. I'm not here. I don't know where I am, actually. I'm from the agents. I've lost the phone now. <laughs> Squire, Squire, Hackman, Dudley. I've never lost the phone before. <laughs> yes, well, I'm Tramplemane. It was here, and then it was... No, I just dropped in to go into... Wait, okay, no, listen, listen, shh. Well, I'm going to put it up. Oh, I'm going to put it up here. That's uh, what it's going to be, all right? No, no, no. But it's a bit of a flat. And a prospective <laughs> tenant, I'm showing a ten perspective through the house. What's wrong with this? She's, um, thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom? No, that's the downstairs bathroom in WC Suite. And this lovely lady is the house we are... Ah, oh, son! It's his son! Dean! Oh, hi! Dean! Um, she's not really here. Oh, you shouldn't have stood on her! You see? You see? We'll just inspect the house. I will all get started on her now! Don't worry about us. I'd better give the floor a bush gun Sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Television? Right. She didn't explain about wanting to watch this, you, you know, with, with the hearts and, well, um, because, you see, clearly this whole thing with the... Well, I mean, in case anyone's watching this and thinking, my God! Right. Now I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. Sorry, love. I thought we just ought to get that out of the way. We'll take it up with us. Where are we? And don't let my files out of sight. No, we've got it out of place. What? What? Huh? Her. That's right, because she's been in the family for generations. Sardine! Sardine! It's not for me to say, of course, dear. Only I would just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. You really enjoy it here? Oh, great. All right, listen, 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 OK? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it up here, and then if he wants it, he won't know where to find it. Yes. That's a... Got the place entirely. 
entirely to ourselves. Home. Home, sweet home. How old it was to find a telephone in the garden. And put it back. Yes, I thought I'd better bring it in. Someone's oh, bound to want it. Very sensible. Why don't you try putting it back on the table? Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Oh, um, yes. Sir, yes, why I seem to be caught on something. Oh, yes, look, it's caught round the downstairs bathroom. So it is? Yes. Darling, do you need any help over there? Oh, no, I think I've got it on this side. Oh, oh dear, oh, my God. Uh, Sam, I think I've got it, darling. Oh, yes, I'm sure you do over there. Do you need what? any help? Um, you know what, I think I've untangled it. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Very sensible, because... <laughs> it's rather old, though, sneaking in like this on our wedding anniversary. Uh, yes, because if Inland Revenue finds out when... Oh. <laughs> Country, even for one night. <laughs> yes, sorry. Sorry, because if Inland Revenue finds out when... What? That's Country! Country! Even for one even night. Even for one night. Bang! Bang. Absolutely. And bangers most of next year's income. Most of next year's income, so I think I'd better go have a little lie down. A oh. lie down? Oh, oh yes, yes, well why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely on our list. I... Downstairs, not upstairs. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. certain obligations. Uh, sardines there, sardines there. It's not the battle of Waterloo out here. Oh, you're still poking around. Oh. Um, yes, I'm still poking. Well, 
still <laughs> pulling. It's a linen closet, were you? Yes, well, I, I was just um, inspecting all of the doors, making sure all the handles, right. um, well, were in working order. Oh, no. Mrs. Blackett. <laughs> Clackett. Yes, Mrs. Clackett. Is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Clackett? No, I haven't seen no one, dear. No. I thought I had voices. Oh, I see. There's no voices here, love. I must have imagined it then. Yes. Oh, God! No! Your pardon. <laughs> oh, God, Lord, help us! <laughs> Why, what is it? The stepping door is open! Yes, of course. <laughs> well, they're going to want these inside. Uh, well, oh, my God, they're going to want them outside. Uh, yes. Yeah. Nothing but flapping doors in this handle. Final note, this steps will be taking the strange proceedings in court. Oh, good Lord, who are you? <laughs> I'm Philip. <laughs> You're Philip? And What's happened to him? It's all a bit slippery it's on slippery. the stairs out there. Yeah. You haven't done a fall in injury, have you? No, just a bit shaky now. Oh, I'll be all right. You weren't going to tell me a man had come about the house, were you? What? You weren't going to tell me a man had come about the house, were you? <laughs> yes, okay, right. So, um, a gentleman has come about the house. Don't tell me I'm not here. Oh, uh, he said he got your box out in the garden for you. Let him do whatever he wants, just as long as he doesn't know I'm here. All right, then, love. So I'll just sit down and turn on the... I'm in Spain. And I'm not here. I didn't get it. And if I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling. Darling? <laughs> Darling, I never had a handle like this, did I? Didn't you? No, I'd never buy anything as brassy as this. Well, I never should have touched it. Right, well, it's lovely. Set it down. Put it back. Never saw it. I'll just put it in the attic if anyone else wants to have a try. All right, all right, now the study doors. Oh, God. Open again! Oh, my God, what's going Knocking? Yes, knocking, yes. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! Darling, well, um... No, 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 darling, you see... I can't exactly, um, I can't open the door right now, well, because, you see, just stop knocking, please. Well, okay, okay, well, okay, I'll come over here. Maybe if you just climb over the, squeeze through the, well, maybe if you just shimmy down the, for pity's sake. Final notice. Steps will be taken. Oh, it's you! This is me, you put me here in the door with all the rushes and things! Yes, I did put you in there, but somehow, do you know what I mean? Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? Well, I couldn't, because, you know. Someone locked the door! Sorry! <laughs> well, we can't just stand here like this. Like what? You know. People running in and out. Okay, I'll take it off. Oh, yes, do that in here. Final notice. Steps will be taken. Distraint proceedings in court. A first aid bottle box. <laughs> if I didn't put it there. I didn't put it there. Someone in the bathroom filling first aid boxes Sorry. with flaming hot Cheetos. You don't think there's something creepy going on, do you? Darling, are you coming to bed, aren't you? <laughs> 
What? What did you say? Oh, I didn't say anything. First the door handles and now this first water box. I can feel goose nipples all over. Yes, quick, let's get something around, uh, around you. Quick, get the covers over our heads. Yes, well, uh, well, maybe, oh my god, what did I do with those sardines? Oh, you wait here. You hear all sorts of funny things about these old houses. Yes, of course, but this one, this one has been extensively martinized. I don't care anything creepy with survival. Oh my god. What? What is it? What's happening? The sardines, they gone. No, they haven't. They're here. Well, you see, you put a plate of sardines down only for two minutes. And you know what? The last thing you expect to find when you come back, well, you see, you go out, you come back, and you, you look down, and what, the last thing you expect to see is, well, a plate of, I mean, that's really weird. Well, perhaps there is something creepy going on. I'm going to get in bed and put my head under the... Well, because there they are. No, they're not. Bag! Well, yes, perhaps Mrs. Sprotchett must have, well, she could have, you know, bag, what bag? Bag! What bag? Bag, bag! Bag? Sardines! Bag! Sardines! Sardines! Bag, bag, bag! Sardines, 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 bag, 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 No bag! <laughs> no bag? Your bag! Suddenly here, now gone! Well, it's in the bedroom, at least I put it in the bedroom, I'll put it back in the bedroom. No, don't go in there! The box. The box? <laughs> They've both not gone. Oh my nails! Oh, what on earth is happening? Where's Mrs. Sprottish? You just wait in the bedroom. No, no, no. Oh, please, at least put your dress I'm on. I'm not going in there. I'll fetch it for you. I'll fetch it for you. Yes, quick, let's get out of here. <laughs> um, yes, well, um... Your dress is gone! <laughs> Um, just don't panic. Don't panic. There's some perfectly rational. Oh, 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 oh. Final notice. Step will be taken. Oh dear! Darling, honey. Oh great heavens! Thank you. Not to my sardines. This is so. Sh She's gone and killed him. Oh, oh no, dear, no, dear. Keep going. Go. Keep going. He's just stunned. He's fine. Keep going. Don't panic, don't panic. There's so perfectly rational. Where are we? Explanation for all oh of this. Keep going. I'll fetch Mrs. Blodgett and she'll tell us what's happening. You fetched her, darling. I'm here. Oh, yes, I've fetched Mrs. Blodgett now. She'll tell us what's happening. She won't, you know. Oh. I'll tell you what's happening. There's a man in there, yes? No! Look, he's here and so am I. No, no, no! There's no one in the house, love. Yes. No, God. Listen, <coughs> I know this must come as a surprise for all of us. Finding a man lying at the bottom of the stairs it sure was a shock for us. Yes, but now that we've all met one another, now we all just have to introduce ourselves. Yes. Introduce yes. ourselves? Yes. yes. I'm right, Yes, yes. Oh, yes. dear. <laughs> This man here, he is my husband, and I'm afraid surprises go straight to his nose. There's a man lurking in the underground! Have an exciting another guest. <laughs> why don't you go look and see what you can find in the garden, and darling? Why don't you get that bottle marked to poison in the downstairs room that eats through anything else? Yes, because I've heard people get stuck in the brown night! But this is ridiculous. No bars, no fucking alarms, they ought to be prosecuted for inside. A, a bird that is the most exciting! Oh yes, come in and join the party, love. Oh dear, I believe this is all my fault, you see, because I'm supposed to say I hope you can stop the problem, but it's ridiculous and then I open the door. <laughs> no bars. No burglar at all. I'll keep prosecuted for but... Keep going. Yes, but sometimes it makes me want to weep. Yes, it is getting like a funeral in here, such a lovely. I think I used to do banks. 
When I remember, I used to do bullion balls. Right, keep going now. Stop. No, no. You see, I thought the coast is clear, so I'm going out of the bathroom. Oh, yes, yes, we'll figure that out later, Selden. Just keep going, Selden. No, yes, just keep going. I heard him very clearly. What's that noise? I've heard people being stuck with the problem, but it's ridiculous. Yeah, and then you open the door in there. No bars, no burglar alarms. They have to be prosecuted for sight. They always come in trees, don't they? When I think I used to do banks. When I remember, I used to do bullying and bolts. Wait a second. We know this man is no burglar. He is our social worker. Jeez. What? What? Our social worker, the man that comes in and tells what? us what to do. What, what to, to do? do? What to do? What to do? What to do? What's he saying? He's saying, do it for the, the doors and flooding. Doors and flooding. There's nothing like a good old fashioned play of.
throw my bag out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>